Four pilgrims and their Jesuit spiritual guide travel over 350 miles across Spain in the documentary Camino Ignaciano, Hope for a New Life. The film documents the growth and change experienced by each of the four pilgrims along their journey, such as one pilgrim who was a famous singer in Hungary but had lost his ability to sing. This journey changed his life again because at the end of the journey he was able to sing. This journey is really the hope for a new life. So if you are making this journey, uh, if you are participating in this journey, then you will have the chance uh, to start a new life. With the help of their spiritual guide, they all gather the strength and courage to be able to pursue their true dreams once back at home. The film was shot during the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the many challenges it presented, the film's director, Ferenc Tolvai, says the pandemic also helped the pilgrims enter deeper into the world of St. Ignatius. I imagine the pilgrims um, in a surrounding as a 16th, 17th century painting, in a surrounding which probably also St. Ignatius saw as it is today. In that regard, uh, the pandemic helped us for sure. While the story follows the experiences of four individuals, Tolvai says he hopes the film will be a transformative experience for all who see it. It is not about the special one pilgrim. It's about a lot of people, a large number of people who have the same problems. And they might have also some solutions or some learnings out of this film. The film is being released for the 500th anniversary of St. Ignatius's conversion. The English version will soon premiere in Rome. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.